know this is Dr. Claudia Kotka with the Washington Institute for Dentistry and Major Surgery. One of the most interesting things that we have focused on at the Institute, of course, is research-based NIH and other institutes and academics all over the United States as well as all over the world has given ample amount of information on this, and that is the geriatric population, meaning 60 plus. Um, of age certainly is profiled by particular systemic conditions that are oftentimes expected or perhaps observed. How is that or how are those variables implicated in the oral health component definitions of course but also diagnosis and treatment planning. We know for instance that in today's in today's era we certainly can expect longer longevity of life uh, lifetime. Therefore we want to also perhaps become a little bit more sensitive to understanding that the options available to the population 60 age of, of plus older certainly can benefit from some of the things that biotechnology and technology has given us whereas beforehand perhaps the life expectancy not being so long certainly certain decisions were much more easier or options were accepted in today's technologies, we know that minimally invasive options, we know that the longer the lifetime of an individual, we want to ensure that we have number one, which is the most important, ability to chew. The ability to chew gives a great deal of influence in terms of the breakdown of the food, the comfort of the feeling of chewing and enjoying food. There's an integrity factor that is very implicated and wrapped around the functionality of chewing, which of course drives us to the very basic fundamental needs of nutrition. If we can't break down the foods, we certainly cannot count on optimal nutritional absorption by the GI tract. And the gastrointestinal tract really starts in the mouth. For more information, please don't hesitate to write us or of course, contact any of the social media uh, materials as well as on the app at rdclaserdentist.com.